How's it going everybody? This is Kinema and we're back doing some Diablo 3. So uh, on Friday the 13th they unleashed season 2 of the uh, the ladder matches, leaderboard stuff. Um, I'm nowhere near the top. I haven't been playing this hardcore. I've had a lot going on so I've been on here a little bit. Um, so I uh, wanted to go ahead and do this video for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I'm actually using some new recording software, so hopefully this video comes out pretty good compared to uh, how I usually do some recording. But also give a little insight for anyone that is new to Diablo or wants to do this series. Or uh, the season matches, because basically what they Diablo what Blizzard did was they're having everyone pretty much start over with a seasoned character um, so when you go to create your hero which I need to delete some I can't create anymore um, you'll basically have your uh, have to start from zero none of the things your inventory your bank all that or your stash in this game um, all that starts over so what um, I did for leveling and it only took me about a day to get to 70 um, so that's what not much you know hopping on hopping off there's things out there where people are saying they can get in there in like three or four hours using you know uh, I don't know jumping in jumping out of uh, games having someone else hold a game and and yeah, it's nice, but I I actually take it slow, and I kind of recommend just just doing, you know. So first, you join the game as adventure mode, so you can sit here and you can do the uh, the bounties that show up in these little, you know. If you go into bounties and adventures, the reason why I recommend doing those is that way you get plenty of keystone fragments, so you can start running rifts now. Um, so you just use a little rift thing in there. Um, and then after you run rifts, uh, you do have a... And the, when you start doing the tournament levels, you have possibility of getting the keystone of trials to get into a greater rift. Um, so if, as far as leveling, do the bounties. You know, just run through them as fast as you can on whatever difficulty you can. Um, and then level up your blacksmith. You'll have to level up that again, even if you've maxed it which I have. Um, so level up your blacksmith and then you can get to your armor and some of the things you can build is once you get to around 40, 45 ish, I would start building this level 60 armor. Now the armor is not really, uh, I guess just to say the armor is not really necessary, but, but come in here and build the Where are they? Like the level 60 um, weapons. And the reason why I say that is you can have some weapons, and I don't know if I have any of the ones that I... No, I get rid of them already. Um, I saved all this stuff. I need to sell it. Um, but the reason why you do that is the level 60 ones can roll, um, I think, up to like 15 minus level reduction. I think I had uh, like a minus 13 and was able to um and i'll show you what i'm talking about i actually just got an item here this mask that says it says 23 so i can actually use that at fo level 47 um if you look at that level uh, requirement reduced so you can make those level 60 stuff i ended up making like a thousand dps bow um and it just allowed me just to destroy stuff and get you know pretty quick up to 60 and then so forth you know you can kind of do the same with some of the um well i couldn't make the actual level 70 gear right away so um but yeah so then once you do that start running rifts um and that's all i did now once you get into you know rifts and you start getting some keystones 
this is what I recommend doing with the keystones is going in here hit T immediately and go ahead and just pour it right out and a couple of reasons why that will allow you to get a level one keystone um, probably wondering why uh, depending on if you're able to run tier six or not you're probably not able to get that many um, keystone fragments um, and so it, by getting just a level one of them I'm going to turn it in and now you can come in here and we will go ahead and run through it real quick so coming in here you should be able even as a fresh 70 be able just to one shot this should be kind of like it's on normal you can see uh, it's really effortless for me um, and you have your timer so you have the purple is your progress and the little hourglass is your timer so you want to make sure you beat that which you shouldn't have any problem now when I started out I would AFK a little bit watch the timer you know they'll want to you know YouTube video like y'all are doing um, you need to get these little orange things to help your progress um, but basically depending on how fast you complete this it uh, is if you upgrade your keystone it will take you you know that much further now one of the things I recommend and I don't know if this sound is up a little too loud there's more and you can find these channelings real nice especially for anything that uh, you, know, you need to spend quite a bit of your primary resource on so you can see blowing through it way faster than the timer <laughs> and I've actually went through these things just because I'm usually don't get in a rush um, trying just to let my sentries kill everything as you can see they they can So, once you get to 100%, you get a guardian. Now, um, what I did starting out is, oh, stupid walls. If I was this far ahead, I would start slowing down and just AFK. Um, but I'm not going to do it now. Not that we need the shield, but we'll take it. So, basically, you can wait. Now, if you get within four minutes, I think, or four minutes and 30 seconds, you'll only go up one level when you upgrade it. You'll see, since I did it pretty quick, um, this should go up yet to 11. That's a max that usually goes up, depending on how, you know, as fast as you can go through it. Um, but if you complete that within or wait until four minutes and 30 seconds then it only goes up to level two and then you can turn it in and run through and do the same thing and then let it get to level three and so the you have more chances of one getting blood shards and picking up legendary gear um, sometimes not everything drops sometimes you get quite a bit of stuff drops so like mine already better uh, for damage so I'm just going to get rid of that thing. But that's basically what I did to start gearing up and get ready for. Uh, and then, of course, you got to go down after you got your blood shards. You can come down to Kadala and spin those and hope to get a good piece. So my set is nowhere near complete. Um, I've been trying to get all the pieces that I need for my 
of my set, but I do have, I actually have all, almost all the sets pieces. I got the four piece of the shadows for the Demon Hunter. I think I got four, what's that, chest piece, boots, uh, three for that, but then you see I got the chest piece right there. So I have all six pieces for that. And then also do bounties in Act 1 and try to get this ring uh, basically that helps reduce the set items needed so that it get the bonuses. So you can wear five pieces of the set and still get the six-piece bonus, which is pretty good. So and that's all I do uh, for, you know, or at least that's what I recommend doing. Um, if you can so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it helps people that are starting out that are new to the seasons try it next season or go ahead and try it you know start up the this season if you have if you have any additional uh information on it that you did uh let me know um you know and you have <laughs> my name kinema um so if you feel uh you know want to invite me or friend me or whatever and run some stuff together uh then that's fine too i plan on streaming i usually stream this a lot you don't get too many viewers but i do stream diablo a lot so um let me know what you think of the video and the tips so if you need any or have any other or have any questions just post them in the comments below but this has been kinema and i'll talk to you later